This is a third alarm fire. Five zero go to count five. Nine five zero go to count five. In two private dwellings, one private dwelling with exposure problems. They're hitting it from the outside now. They have five okay, lines stretched, off. five lines in operation. Right. We got water on the fire. We're knocking down the attic uh, now. It should be getting better soon. Yeah, take four. It is. Come on, three rescue battalion. Another fire coming in, 1075. There's no way of getting in the back, so I'm just going to film here. This is where the bulk of the fire is, and it has some extension. <laughs> The third alarm units are just starting to come in right now. They might have some fire in this building. There's a lot of smoke pushing from the eaves, but we'll see. Uh, this is a third alarm fire. We came from a fourth alarm fire, which they knocked down very quickly, so. They have heavy smoke pushing from that uh, other attic area there, so they might have some fire in there. Not for sure. They're forcing entry next door. Yeah, they got black smoke pushing from there, folks. Very choppy. There's fire now, popping through the roof, right in the center right, of your screen. Good access with the line, but I got 317 here. They're putting the water on it now. 
We just gotta get the front room, the ceiling down a little better. Yeah, ten for one. We got two by sixes in the ceiling in the rear room, so. Three oh two is gonna make a push up into the attic now. Alright, they still have uh pockets of fire in the other one over there. That one. Yeah. Here. We're representing the Upper West Side. the uh, attic spraying now. And they still have pockets of fire on this one over here. As you can see in the center of your screen, there's another fire seven minutes away. Some some fire in there. I can see by the color of the smoke. We're so gonna keep filming this for now. There's not really too much more to film. Uh, inside operations, members over there holding the line. Radios are coming in very top. Four, four. Four, four. Engine's down here for your leave. Let me know what you need. All right, uh, real fours, we're leaving 317 now, and uh, I'll let you know what 302 needs relief. They're knocking down fire up in the attic now. Let me know when they're ready. 
Coming in to the fourth floor. Fourth floor. How you doing on trust? Yeah, any relief? No, we got, we got uh, 133 operating in the rear. And uh, I got uh, 155 and 120 sold the building when we need them. All right, 10 o'clock. Come in, attention, 308. 308. Scott, how you looking for your spot? There's no fire uh, between the buildings in the rear. 10 o'clock. How's the second floor look for the exterior? We can still do a little rush down, but right now uh, we are not operating. If you don't need us to operate, we'll do it now. 10-4. Just stand by, we'll let you know. 10-4. 314-308 Chauffeur. 308 Chauffeur. When you get a chance, can you charge our line, please? Command the rescue battalion. Rescue battalion, go. Hey Mike, get ready to call out of the Eve on the uh on your uh, two side. Let me know if we can open up the line from the outside again. Alright, that's all yeah, you can open up. 10-4. Command the rescue battalion. 308 open to 314. They're coming to water. 10-4, thank you. That's the line they wanted opened right there. They're still getting a good handle on it, but they still have pockets of fire inside that building. Especially this one is uh, venting through the roof right now, the fire. Uh, they got to get that out. Because it's going to stretch to the other side all the way over. Where are you Second floor. Of the uh, Persian Thank you. Keeps popping out. It's in the tiles up there. Come in, put down your four four. Four four. Just give me a recap what you have with you right now. All right, I got 304 to the attic. I got 155 in the rear. to do in there folks to get that completely out.
Still inside, inside that structure. Esposito. Back side of the house, there's not a lot of fringe marks, so it looks like it was all in the front and on the side. This is the closest I could get. They're still operating, obviously. Engine 302. Engine 302. I can do it on big release. Just came back a little bit further away to show you guys what's going on. They still have little tiny pockets of fire on that roof and they still have smoke pushing from that eave up there. There's always fire when that happens. There's always little pockets of fire probably in the ceiling there. But they continue to open up. They got a lot of opening up to do there. I haven't gotten a progress report because they got a fire seven minutes away from here. Uh, they put the uh, on the control a while ago so got a little bit of fire here There's so much traffic in the radio going on down there that I can't even hear anything on the regular one. We're working on the four side now. We have any fire on that four side? Yeah, five four to the four four. From mid point back on the four side along the roof line. Two and a half story, two by four, peak of private dwelling, floor two and three, which extends to explosion. 
portion of a form, which is a similar attached. Division 1 4 reports that five lines are in operation. Correction that Division 1 3 reports five lines stretch five in operation. Main body of fire in the fire building has been knocked down. We're still hitting small pockets of fire and explosion number four. There will be extensive overhauls in the heavy clutter situation and primaries will lead the way to the heavy clutter. We are still doubtful and special call to our company. Okay. Have four field cops time up all right the first report i caught so they got the main body of fire knocked down in the original fire building still small pockets of fire which is pretty much what i said uh let me see there's a firefighter hanging his head out the window there he's all right uh still looking and knocking down small pockets of fire in the exposure building and the uh, fire is still doubtful uh, so they ripped that whole ceiling insulation sheetrock and all out of the the uh little attic area up there because they have a little attic area back there you see the window until they knock that all down and tear it apart and get everything out, it won't be done. There goes the window, went flying. Alrighty, so I'm gonna continue monitoring. And they're working very hard in there overhauling extensive overhauling just like i said before all right i always want to show and give a little love to the uh your ems ems contingency they have their command post set up over here Searches, it looks like. 162, uh, stand by a second. We, uh, All right, I'm going to go around uh, 120 ladder here, <laughs> and I'm just going to explain a little bit about what's going on here. So we uh, went to the uh, fourth alarm fire in Flushing. Uh, we got delayed by heavy traffic, but either way, it really didn't matter because they knocked down the fire rather quickly even though they had heavy fire they knocked it down and it jumped from one wing to another then we uh were getting ready to leave there and i panned over and as i you'll see in the other video i saw the um huge column uh for this particular fire and this took us 15, 20 minutes to get to, but we got here, we got a little bit of fire and we got some of the operations for you guys. It's a, a very busy day in Queens. Now, seven minutes away going that way, there's another fire, just a normal 1075. Uh, I, they got that knocked down rather quickly. They got that knocked down rather quickly. So, uh, uh, we're here. 
uh, and uh, we're gonna be taking off soon as soon as they get this at least probably will hold and uh, so that's what happened today it's a little crowded by the command posts over there so I'm staying over here I wanted to see what uh, fuel comes there I don't know what chiefs are there Chief Esposito came but he probably left uh, Chief Ferrante is here. I believe he left the other fire and came to this one. Chuck, where you at? All right, looking very good now. Uh, we're gonna stay around a little bit longer and then we're gonna be out. A good call on the chief to make a, a third alarm. I believe they made it a third alarm because some embers lit up a garage three houses down. I still haven't been able to see that garage. I don't know if it's three houses down that way or in the back somewhere. But either way, he transmitted the third alarm, one because of that and two because this was going pretty good uh, from the looks of it, especially in the tight space between that uh, those two houses is about maybe eight, ten inches. That is going to be the original address with extension to 1509 one, 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 They still got smoke pushing folks uh, and they're still opening up. They're looking for everything that they could get open. They're ripping down some of the siding as you can see now, right there. Most of these houses are, are covered with siding, but there's a lot of, and they're all wood. And so. Three fires all within two or three hours within the same confines of two hours. Hold on, they're spraying that spot they're opening up over there.
Just show you guys how far they have to stretch a lot of the times on these fires. The hydrants are down the street or on the corners. Um, uh, the drone is operating out of somebody's backyard there. I'm going to go pop around the corner to see if I can find that garage that went up and uh, give you guys a report. All right, let me give you the last recap here. So I went around a, a whole entire city block. Uh, the firehouse is way down that way. Um, I went through a couple of backyards that were open. Uh, didn't see any... Uh, didn't see any garage that was either fire on it or singed or wet or any hose lines or anything. So um, I'm going to close this out. Uh, they're starting to pack up. They still have uh, some smoldering, a couple mattresses smoldering in the basement and so forth and so on. Uh, and yeah. So... See how far they stretched over here. Uh, it looks like they were gonna. I don't think they put the tower ladder nowhere near that to operate. That's pretty far, so no. Uh, but anyway, they're starting to break down the lines and stuff like that. And I'm gonna go uh, take up shortly. It's way all the way down there. And probably will hold, he's talking about. Command Battalion 6. Battalion 6, we just have two engines uh, in, this, uh, in this building. We have 326 on the second floor and 309 on the first floor. Everything appears to be out. Just a few areas that are uh, still smoking. We're going to hit them and we're going to wait another few minutes to see what uh, develops. 10 floor. Are you good with probably will hold? 10 floor. All right, he's good with probably will hold, so... I'm gonna head out. Uh, we're close to uh, this sushi place that we go to. It's an all-you-can-eat sushi. One day, maybe I'll make a, a video of it. Because uh, we haven't eaten, and uh, the third fire is done. This one's done, and the fourth alarm was done. So we're gonna take up, guys. Up to the yeah, it looks pretty clean. All right. Okay, guys, everybody's, uh, like I said before, packing up, still overhauling going on in there. All right, we're gonna take up guys from here. We're gonna be uh, heading back to Manhattan after we eat. They're getting all the lines packed up. The boss is helping. That's right. <laughs> the boss says, many hands make light work. 
And I need a few more hands here, but they're doing pretty good. Uh, sometimes uh, it might be a little easier with less hands. Anyway, two and two, we're gonna see you all on the other side. I wanted to do a quick clip. Where the rack at? There the rack at. Rack two. It looks like they're leaving. Uh, I didn't catch the rack during the fire, but I don't know. He might be. There the rack at. Rack two. I don't know what he's doing, but there it is.